Hey guys, welcome back to The Whore of the Whore with your host, as always, Jenna. Welcome back for those of you who are returning, anyone who is new to my channel, welcome! Uh, so today I'm going to, um, I guess in honor of St. Patty's Day tomorrow, I'm going to do a film review on the first Leprechaun film. Uh, this, as you can see, is the uh, uh, DVD collection set, uh, the seven films. Uh, yeah, there's seven films of these, which is hard to believe. Um, and I've seen, I've seen the first one, second one, third one, part of the fourth one. I think I started watching the first In the Hood one, but, you know, I still kind of like trudging through them. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to be talking about the first one. Uh, so yeah, first one, um, starring, uh, Warwick Davis and Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston's first film, uh, you know, was this, you know, you know, um, you know, it kind of sucks that she never, like, talks about this film. Um, like, I know it's a cheesy horror movie, but, like, come on, Jennifer Aniston. Seriously, like, I, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when actors don't acknowledge, like, their horror movie roles. Like, once again, I know this is a very cheesy franchise, but come on, there is, there is an audience for these movies, okay, with as cheesy as they are, like, come on, uh, but enough of that, enough of that, so, first one, um, I mean, it's, you know, for what it is, it's really not that bad, the first one, uh, you know, with as kooky as it is and everything, um, you know, I think, I think that's how a lot of people need to just kind of, like, watch it and view it and enjoy it, is just, Knowing it's a goofy movie, knowing it's not totally scary or anything, um, I mean, it's, it's got its moments for me. Like, it's, you know, I'll be honest, this is not by far a, a favorite of mine by any means, but I do, I will admit, I have a certain appreciation for it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a fun one. That's basically what it is for me. It's a, it's a fun horror movie. Most horror movies, I feel like, are kind of fun. But this is definitely one that's just, it's fun for me. Like, this is one that I'm not going to have a sort of, like, epiphany or anything with. Uh, it just, it's fun. Um, and, you know, Warwick Davis, uh, bless his soul, uh, played the Leprechaun uh, for the first six movies. And then the uh, Origins one uh, was replaced by Hornswoggle from WWE. Uh who's no longer with WWE, but whatever, whatever. Um, but, you know, whatevs, whatevs, whatevs. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's a fun one. Um, you know, and Warwick Davis, like I was saying, is just, you know, he definitely did, um, you know, do a really good job at this, even for it being a goofy series and everything. Um, although I have to admit, Warwick Davis, I know most people uh, associate him with the Leprechaun movies, but he will forever, for me, be Willow. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But whatever's, whatever's. No, but this is, you know, like I said, it's a fun one. Um, you know, I mean, I feel like a Leprechaun movie, like, even when this came out uh, in 93, actually, and fun little fact, I don't know how many of you know this, but this was actually, the first one was actually filmed in 1991, I think, like, from, like, October-ish, or maybe September to, um, like, beginning of December or something of 91, and then wasn't released until 93, so I, I don't know how many of you really know that, I actually just recently found that out, uh, so, you know, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, even when it came out, uh, I think on video, actually, after theaters and everything, uh, my nine-year-old self even was kind of like, you know, in my infancy of horror movie education, I kind of knew, uh, checking this out, I knew it was just going to be a goofy, goofy movie. Uh, and, you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, I like I said, there's... A definite audience uh, that I know loves this uh, franchise and everything. I'm not going to knock that. Uh, even with me saying that I'm not really the biggest fan of the Leprechaun series, 
you know what? I respect it if you do like this series. I do. Uh, it just, yeah, you know, like I said, I kind of watch it uh, once in a while and just kind of watch it for what it is, you know? Uh, but, you know, it, there's some good little, like, lot one-liners in here, I will admit. Uh, it's good for that. It's, you know, uh, even as, like, the sequels go on and everything, uh, the one-liners really get very cartoonish, kind of like how uh, Nightmare on Elm Street became just very kind of cartoonish. Uh, quite frankly, with a franchise like this called Leprechaun, you kind of expect it to just get more cartoonish. Um, you know, you know, uh, you know, and it's a basic run-of-the-mill uh, sort of like plot story or plot story uh, storyline. What I'm trying to say. Uh, so, teenage girl Jennifer Aniston, uh, her character is going to go spend the summer with her dad in some, like, little beat-up small town. And, you know, of course, she's not happy about it or anything. She's from L.A., and now she's being transplanted to a totally different state and everything, totally different environment. And it's just being, you know, typical snobby, snuck-up girl and everything. And in the end, kind of becomes a, a heroine. You know, she definitely does become a horror... Uh, female protagonist and everything, you know, she, she did a good job in this for her first role. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun little movie, fun little movie, you know. Um, of course, you know, it, it does have some of the, like, leprechaun folklore, like, uh, you know, gotta protect yourself from leprechauns with four-leaf clovers, and, you know, don't ever steal a leprechaun's... Um, gold or anything, even if it's one piece, you know, give it all back. Uh, so it's got that little bit of a, a moral to it, but like I said, it's mainly just like leprechaun folklore. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, I, I don't, like I said, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the series or anything, but I'll watch it once in a while just to, you know, just to have fun. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, you know, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, you know, are you guys fans of the series or maybe just like the first one? Because um, like I know for me, um, like with the ones that I really like have seen all the way through, uh, one through three, um, I like the first one. Second one was kind of, ugh, like it's just very forgettable for me. Um, you know, I don't know why it was a decent one, but whatever. Um, and the third one, uh, the third one always kind of stuck out to me the most. Um, and the third one, interestingly enough, uh, was I think only shot in like two weeks or something, like something ridiculous like that. But that one, I think, feel like it's just the one that's so much more over the top for me. Um, that is just, you know, plus you, it takes place in Vegas and it's like, so many, like, greedy, selfish people and everything in that film, uh, the characters and everything, that just, like, all those people get what they deserve and is coming to them, so, um, <laughs> I guess apparently I'm not just gonna talk about the first one, sorry, um, but yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think, uh, you know, what do you guys think of the series, what's your favorite, um, entry in the series, what's your least favorite, um, and I don't care if you guys give me spoilers on the ones that I haven't seen, you know, because clearly I've got the set, I just, you know, maybe it'll give me a little more motivation to trudge through the rest of them, but whatever. Uh, so like I said, it's, you know, nothing against it or anything, uh, even with me not being the biggest fan of the series, it's, you know, I get why people like it. You know, I have a certain appreciation for it. Um, I also, I'll say that. That's kind of why I watch them is because I do have a certain appreciation for it. And I know that there are people who genuinely like the series. So, what else? What else? But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, Till next time, you guys. Stay creepy and classy and have some fun.